Good morning cultists! In our previous episode, we destroyed the Chaos and Skaven armies that were spawned by the Ritual and then ended things off as we started to get ready for our attack on Grand. And as you can see, I've moved my armies to their borders in between episodes and we are also one turn away from completing our third Ritual. So I've got the two Black Dragon Riders, Grayscale Leo and Vanthus with his magnificent four dragons ready to attack Harganeth. We've got Morathi, Sovix, and Pacifax ready to attack their capital of Grand and Ashrak. Though the Great Arena might need to be taken over via Chaotic Corruption. We'll see. We'll see. Do I need to move anyone? Oh wait, these places have walls, right? Oh shoot. Hmm. I should have got my Death Hags to this area so that we could destroy the walls before we launch our attacks. How far away are you? Pretty far. Can you get to this area by any chance? Hmm... I mean, it's gonna take you 50 million years. Oh, Karestra's around here, though. Maybe she can at least help out with Grand. And who else? Is that it? Those are our only two free death hags. Huh. Well, we've got this lady, who I don't think is all that... Oh, you know what? She's actually really good at uh, damaging walls. So we could have her tank Gron now, but I don't want to mess with our reliability. You know what? It's fine, I'm sure. Does anyone need to move? I don't think so. And I've also gone broke from all the upgrading of our uh, various settlements and buildings and whatnot. Alright. Well, let's complete the ritual. I'm hoping that um, we can get the ritual part um, out of the way so that we can do some other stuff afterwards. So after we complete this ritual, uh, we'll go ahead and destroy Grand, take all their stuff, and then maybe we'll start the next ritual right away. Do not presume my kind of depending on where we need to go. What do you want? I will not join your war. Absolutely not. Oh yeah, we are also military allies with these guys now. I don't know if I mentioned that, or if I even did that in between, or episodes, or did I do that on camera? I actually don't remember. Clan Eshin. Hmm, I mean, they're obviously not a major faction, but the fact that they're the Skaven are back is a little troublesome, I gotta say. The third victim was also known to the sorceress. But this was no enemy. The pupil looked upon her teacher and saw the true cost of dark magic. Success breeds expectation, and the Witch King demands. Especially when there are others who incite their own rituals of possession over the Vortex. Is that blood that's just continuously spilling out? Because the, the first pillar that was ignited is still going, which is pretty insane. I guess these guys just have a lot of blood. And also, I really dig the um, plate mail and chain mail bikini of um, look of the uh, Dark Elf Sorceresses. Gotta love that shit. Uh, so that's that ritual done. Noses to the grindstone. Following successful raids on key targets in enemy lands, a number of enemy intellectuals have been acquired. With a little persuasion, their skills and experience have been harnessed. They have been put to work improving the level of technology available to you in order that he might score further victories over the hatred, hated foe and bring about a rightful duke uh, supremacy. Just as you intended, the rate of research has been increased faction-wide and acquiring very, li very little effort from anyone other than slaves uh, whose lot it is to suffer and die. Whoa! 100% research rate? Holy shit, that's incredible. So what's it at now? Mm, it is at... Is it shown here or did I just want to see this? I think I just wanted to see that. Oh no, it's in the uh, technology tab, of course. Wow, wow, wee wah. Holy crap, so we can get this done in like four turns. I mean, it's not that much of a boost, I guess. 
Uh, but sure, I guess I'll take what I can get. Okay. Well, let's get our war started with Grond. Of Grond are not known for their patience. That's nice. That's real nice. Good for you. All right. Kerestra, why don't you go ahead and damage the walls here? Unless you can reach this area, which you cannot. Gotcha. Go for it then. Fantastic. Uh, let's get you to... I guess that. All right, Marathi. Let's have you lead the charge. Fantastic. And looks like they've also got a black dragon in um, defense. All right, pass effects. Get in there. Now, how much of a boost? Very good. Hmm. Should we do this manually? Wow, that's a lot of breaches. Fairly uh, damaged walls there. Hmm. It's actually very tempting. I kind of do feel like doing it manually, but... Nah, I think maybe we'll do this one manually, because that's going to be a much more difficult fight, I think. Especially since we don't have the walls damaged. Or we could wait for it to get damaged. Yeah, that's doable. Hmm. All right, Sovix, then once you're getting close. And let's just do this automatically. Fantastic. That is a lot of money. That is so much money. That is incredible. And you guys are back to full fighting form. Fantastic. All right, pass effects. No. What do you mean, no? Don't know me. Unbelievable. Listen, I just want you guys to get in close, all right? I'm not asking you to, like, pick your ass until you die. Fuck me. That's what I'm asking you to do. Good grief. Um... Now, our other death hag lady is gonna take far too long to get to this region. So, what we could do is... Wait, wound? No, damage the walls. Great, Vanthus, let's have you lead the siege. Obviously, we won't do that right away. We'll try to get the, um... Grayscale to help us out here. Conquest lies ahead. I'm sure it does. Exterminate them. We could just do this now. The settlement garrison isn't that powerful, and nor is their um, actual the thing there. What kind of thing are we expecting here, though? Mm. Ah! We will make them bleed. Interesting. We could actually use the black dragons to completely circumvent the uh, the towers. Okay, we'll give this a go, and we can even use the, um, the, uh, these guys to, to, re um, to destroy the towers and whatnot. Assuming that this is kind of laid out in the similar fashion that the high elf uh, settlements are when we are fighting them as a uh, Noctilus. Because, if I recall, there should be a body of water around this region, though there might be some slight changes. Hmm. And where reinforcements are coming in from that side, which is very unfortunate. Huh. Okay. Well, what we could do is potentially... I don't know, actually. What we could do is potentially... Wait, why is... Va why is what the hell? I should be... There you go. Makes more sense for Vanthus to be uh, number one there. Okay. Alright, so... Vanthus and the Black Dragons. Which kind of sounds like a, a band name, not gonna lie. And... Shades over here. At least our Shades aren't really in danger of being attacked by their towers. Assuming that the uh, other guys don't draw any attention. What the hell do you mean? Oh, there we go. Mm, okay, so... Be shoved into this region. Actually, what we'll do is like this. And I don't think they have any uh, magics that can be launched directly onto our troops. Unless I'm mistaken, which I could very well not uh, be so. Very much well could be so? What the fuck does that mean? That's not even English. Alright, there you go. And you guys can... Maybe shove yourselves over... 
This way? Okay. Gonna need you guys to get over this way then. Actually, you guys should be... Going like that. There we go. That makes a lot more sense, right? Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's have you destroy the uh, towers whenever possible. And these guys... Ah, uh, shoot. Alright, we'll try to get them to move, but I think they're probably going to end up taking some damage as they go. Unless their towers are completely... Nope. Their towers are not out of range, as it turns out. Though... Judging by the range... Hmm... If we could stay by the uh, very edge here, we might be able to avoid taking damage from their towers. Interestingly enough. Okay. Then why don't you guys do it. Let's just get you guys to spread out as much as you can. Near the uh, back edge here. Uh, nope. Yeah, don't advance. Just get shoved in there. And we'll see if we can actually avoid any, um, you know, retaliation from the, uh, towers and all that such. And once we've destroyed a couple of their towers around this region, we'll go ahead and, um, actually move you guys to the proper position and all that stuff. If it makes any sense. Okay. Wait, how are they still able to... Yeah, they can't do that. The fuck? Oh, they're ta targeting my uh, dragon. I see. Okay, you know what? They can do that, as it turns out. Yep, so there are they are basically right out of the range. Fantastic. And these guys won't these guys won't be able to do anything either. Great. Are you actually blocked? You're not actually blocked, are you? Don't be like that. You're over this way. 36%. Fantastic. So I'd say let's get a couple of these destroyed and then these guys can just scooch on over this way. Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. Can the dragons actually attack the towers? They cannot. Make me sad, dragons. Make me sad. They should be able to destroy the walls at least, right? Wait a minute. Oh, you are targeting the uh, tower. Good. I thought for a second you were actually targeting their, uh, their sorceresses. I mean, I guess they could be. Hmm. Tempting. Very tempting. But no. And obviously these guys are too far away to be able to do anything with that. So that's that tower destroyed. Fantastic. Let's have you guys destroy the other one, please. And thank you. Why don't you get over this way? Yeah, that should be enough to avoid that shit. And still be within range and proper um, angle and all that crap too. Idiots. Can't do shit, man. You can't do shit. Okay, let's get you guys to... Wait, sorry. Not yet. Because we still need to destroy this thing. No, 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 no. Don't, don't attack that. Attack this. See? Yeah, get into position. And blast the shit out of this uh, tower. That's perfect. And then afterwards, you, can, you guys can start hitting the uh, sorcerers and all that crap. Yeah, let's not worry about these towers at all. So, I noticed that they have a lot of Black Art Corsairs and whatnot. Um, we should be able to deal with the majority of them with our shades and all that such. Yeah. Yeah, we'll reposition our troops and all that. Now, the Dark Shards with shields, I think our shades have better range than they do. So, we might be able to just barely um, outrange them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, range is 150, 144, yeah, just barely, just very barely. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to scooch on over this way. I don't know where you're going, but if you guys could avoid... Oh, you dinguses. Oh, you dinguses. You're gonna do it, aren't you? Okay, yeah, they're gonna get attacked by the uh, towers. Or not. Interesting. Wait. You guys have already finished using your ammunition? How? Oh, you've almost destroyed their, uh... Their <laughs> hero. Wow. That is some brutal accuracy. Holy crap. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. Oh, there they go. Getting attacked like a bunch of dinguses. I knew it. 
I knew the uh, Dingusosity would actually uh, eventually take over. Good grief. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, you can join group one. This can be a group. Group. And Grayscale Leo, you can also be part of group one. Since you are... No, at least you guys shouldn't be taking any fucking damage, you moron. That is some insane range on the tower, I gotta say. Absolutely batshit crazy. Wait, you guys actually destroyed the wall? No way. That is impressive. Okay. Well, let's get you guys into position here, and you guys can start peppering their buttholes with, um, delicious fire. And shades... Hmm... I'd say maybe get over here, because I'm not quite sure if their towers are going to be able to, uh, get you up from that area. And, of course, their Black Art Corsairs with handbows have even, uh, worse range. But we don't need to worry about that at all. Hmm... Maybe I should have you destroy that tower just in case. Yeah, you know what? We'll do it. Go with the non-multi-shot round, the standard bolts, and then go fire on that tower. Oh, are you guys just outside of their range? Dang. Okay, then maybe scooch on... ...ever so slightly. Tell me you're within range. No, not quite. Oh, nope, that's our... never mind. <laughs> Shit. Uh, huh. We actually don't need to worry about that stuff. Alright then, scooch on. Okay. We're start. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Blot out the sun. Fantastic. Look at that. That is just... I love it. I absolutely love it. Good job, guys. Yep, they are getting completely demolished. Taking a few casualties, but um, nothing too serious. At least not yet. And... Hmm... Yeah, you know what? Just go for the uh, multi-shot round. See if you guys can actually uh, accomplish anything. Doesn't seem to be the case, though. Hmm... Why is that? And of course, their Black Ark Corsairs with handbows are also becoming completely demolished. Which is pretty fantastic. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> wow! Look at that. That is just awesome. Love to see that happen. So I think we can get our Hydras to um, destroy their gatehouse. Not that we would really need it, but um, I suppose it would help a little bit at the very least. And their sorceress here is almost dead too. Very nice. Getting shot in the back. A winning strategy for them, it seems. As they don't seem to be uh, in the mood to change that. Fantastic. Yeah, they're booking it. They are booking it. <laughs> Looks like the siege might be a lot easier than I anticipated. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. Maybe you guys scooch on over that way then. Come on, guys. Let's go somewhere where we're wanted. Dinguses. Mm, are you actually going to move your melee troops on top of the walls? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm loving your strategy here. Which is... Which consists of just getting completely demolished and pummeled by our uh, troops. But, um... Is it really working out for you guys? Yeah, let's uh, scooch our troops on up a little bit more. And our hidden troops are revealed. Well, no shit. They've been firing on them for like 50 million years. You'd think they would have noticed by now. Wow! <laughs> it's a constant stream of crossbow bolts. That is incredible. Look, it's like never-ending. It's literally never-ending. The greatest thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's ended. Just when I say it's li literally never-ending. Their sisters of slaughter are almost dead too. That is incredible. We finally run out of ammunition for one of them. Fair enough. Uh, Vantus? Wait, Vantus is actually a hidden, right? Because he's got the uh, stalking thing. And by stalking thing, I of course mean a pantyhose. 
Because uh, if there's one thing we know about Vantis, it's that he loves wearing a uh, lady's clothing. Clearly. Well, not really. <laughs> uh, it's their death tag dead. Their black dark corsairs are almost completely stack wiped as well. Sisters of Slaughter are now booking it. I'd say they pretty much have no um, ranged infantry left anymore at all. So maybe, just maybe, the Sisters of Slaughter would like some noxious uh, black dragon breath? Yep, looks like they are loving it. Fantastic. Go after their Black Art of Nagaron, because I think they're probably going to be our biggest problem here. Oh no, what is happening here? Okay, it's just when they um, cross the uh, fort tower. Oh fuck! Turns out they actually do have some uh, ranged infantry left. Dark shards. Okay. Wait, wait. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Um. So you can do that. Great. Who else can do that? Just have all of these guys release their noxious breath at the same time. I think that'd be impressive and quite fun to watch. Let's see it in action. They have their Dark Riders with shields too. Concerning, but not a huge deal, I don't think. And there goes the Noxious Breath. Fantastic, that's a whole bunch of them just completely annihilated. <laughs> what a waste. Oh well, it was fun to watch. And one Black Dragon is just completely covered in um, what appears to be ketchup. Um, probably just had like a giant accident where it was trying to like um, season its uh, french fries or something and it just exploded in its face. Clearly what happens all the time. Mm, slippery, don't need that and I don't think that anyone has any impressive magic uh, for me to watch, do, you? do they? No, I don't think so. Are we out of ammunition yet? For some of them. One stack is not attacking right now, though. If you guys could please change that and do some attacking, it would be great. So these guys are not anti-large, meaning that we can get our black dragons to maybe just completely annihilate them. Actually, no. Why don't you guys get into position and then we'll all land there at this exact... T you know what? They seem to be moving, so just fucking go for it. Land right on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Nice. Oh no, I think they're using some kind of magics against us. What? How dare you? How dare you? That is so rude. All I did was come bearing gifts, and this is how they repay me. Like a bunch of assholes. So, can you actually attack them on the walls? I feel like they should be able to, yes? Yes, I believe they can. That is fantastic. Great. So this will actually be an amazing way to uh, get these guys all murderated, yes? Yeah, go for the uh, Black Guard of Nagaron too. Oh, they're on the ground. They're, uh, they are off the uh, towers, it seems. Fair enough. Why don't you guys go after their... Uh, Dark shards, they're the only uh, range dudes left. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Black Dragon Siege. <laughs> Six Black Dragons descended upon the city of Harganeth, I think, and just completely demolished everyone's buttholes in the least sexual of ways. I love it. Absolutely love it. Some of these guys are... Yeah, they're, they're not even like, they're slightly hurt. Ah, uh, look at them soiling their shreddies and getting the fuck out of here. Holy crap, that was fun. <laughs> Giant waste of my time, but so much fun. <laughs> we lost a total of 30 dudes. Absolutely incredible. I think the 30 dudes are just the uh, shades. Sorry, 35 dudes total. Yeah. And they're all uh, just shades, I'm sure. Eh. Oh wait, no, some of them might actually be the Reaper Bolt Thrower dudes, too. Okay, not bad. What you don't take. Fuck Burn. yes. Fuck yes. 71,000 buckaronis. Holy shit. That is incredible. Vantus? Stake your claim. 
Out of boy. Get that shit repaired, get that shit destroyed. And we'll start corrupting this region like nobody's business. Grayscale Leo, let's get you to help out with Ashrak. Not that we actually need to, but... Sure. Mm, and I guess we don't really need to keep the... Um, these buildings anymore. Since we already got that uh, being made there. Sure, just upgrade everything to the max. And... Storag Horror is kind of fairly close to the region where we keep seeing the, um, the dude spawn. And by the dude, I'm of course referring to the dude from the hit movie, The Big Lebowski. Oh, and that's the Dark Convent of Sorcery. Nice. Maybe I should have just occupied this region. Yeah, it's fine. Shit, did I need to move anyone? Nah, Elamir. Oh, oops, Kondar. Um, oh, let me finally read this. Pirate coves are some of the world's most elusive places, where the wealth of local sea brigands is secretly kept and fiercely defended. It seems that today may be your lucky day, as your lookout in the crow's nest claims to have spotted one, a small island cave next to which a black ship is moored. The ship belongs to an infamous uh, fleet of pirate vampire pirates, and it appears that there are zombie deckhands tra transferring treasure chests onto the ship right now. It's an opportunity for a big payday, but these unliving sea dogs certainly won't give up their wealth too easily. Raid the cove. The and destroy. The ocean Fantastic. Wow, wow, wee wow. Armor of living death. Well, reduces leadership. It is claimed that anyone wearing this armor cannot die. Unfortunately, they cannot remove it either and will slowly be driven insane. Actually, they can't remove it? Huh. I doubt that's true, though, because I'm pretty sure I had this armor before. I don't know what the hunger is. Hmm. Wait, did you actually knowingly... Why are you parked right in front of the whirlpool? What is wrong with you? You have a death wish? I don't understand. The Hermit. Powerful sorceress who lives as a hermit in the Black Forest's is the sister of one of your lords. She's been accused of sheltering traitors and your minion pleads for her life. This reeks of concern, which makes your lord weak and fallible, yet makes him ripe for manipulation at a later time. Rod of Briars. Causes armor piercing damage. Good from a high, high angle. No, you know what? Just slay, um, spare her. It's fine. Fantastic. Ritual of the Unrequited Lover. The next vict victim is revealed by Hecarty's scrolls on the ritual's enactment is even closer to the sorceress. The lover's life force will taste bittersweet once the go goblet is filled. So it's Hecarty's, or it's the, um... Wait, is it Hecarty's lover? No, Hecarty's a goddess, right? So it can't be Hecarty. So I guess it's... Murderous. It's that, um... It's that girl's lover. Is that what I'm being led to believe? And can we upgrade some shit as we move? Oh no, you're actually fully kitted out. Wow, okay. Cool beans, buddy. Cool beans. Dastan, Cold Eye, Emerald. Hmm. I think maybe with Kondar's army, perhaps the best thing to do is not to wait for them to be fully replenished, but uh, merge them and then delete the... Um, the smaller stacks, and then just replace them completely. Yeah, that might be a way to go. Okay. So who wants to be the leader of the next siege? Pacifax? Sovix. Sovix can get her very own black dragon. Oh, look at that! That looks majestic. Ah, oh, fantastic. Right, Sovix? Enjoy. That's right. Supreme sorceress hmm. Should we have Sovix do the uh, assault by herself? No, considering how close we are to the end of the episode, just go for it. We'll wa watch you in action um, at a later date, I think. Yeah. Sack that shit. And... Occupy that shit. And that is Grand destroyed in two turns. Wow, wow, wee wow. 
Um, chaos corruption is actually rising at a very good rate, so I don't think we need to worry too much about that. And let's, of course, send no slaves here. Oops, completely forgot. My bad. Fiery Pits of Sacrifice. The Druki worship the brutality of Cain above all. Founding centers of agony in his name. Uh, so Death Hags and Cainite Assassins have... Untainted? What? Oh no, that's not good. Not good at all. Or the Hellebron's Palace. I'm assuming we can get both, right? It's not like one's exclusive, um... They're mutually exclusive. Legendary Palace. Public Order. Uh... Recruitment cost for Witch Elves and Sisters of Slaughter. Reduces upkeep. Recruitment duration in the province, etc, etc. Income from all buildings in this region of the province. 50%. So this could be another good place to set up a slave market thing. Interesting. Okay, well since we're done capturing this northern part, let me see if I can actually confederate any of these gits. Nope. Nagaron? Come on! What the hell, guys? What condition do I need to uh, meet before I can confederate these jerks? Okay, so... Quintex, Bleakhold, Caron, Car, same situation. So, if we are to start, uh, start the next ritual, I'll probably want to set everything up the same way that it was before. I think. Yeah, so... Maybe in between episodes, I'll go ahead and move everyone into the correct positions. I don't know if I actually need to keep Nelosi here. Actually, without her, we'd have a steady public order. Well, once we get some more cultist buildings built here, we should not need her anymore, I think. Corruption yeah. Is right. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, so I think I'll just move everyone to the right position, and we'll just get the uh, fourth ritual started in our next episode. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching, and have a good breakfast!